Hello students, here in this video, I am going to solve a PLA logic diagram for the given Boolean functions. And this is one of the important questions in your engineering curriculum in the university exams. Here, what is given in the question? The question is tabulate the PLA programming table for the following Boolean functions and draw the logic diagram. It is asked to draw the logic diagram. So how do you solve this question? This question we can solve by going with a KMAP simplification. Now KMAP simplification for each Boolean functions. Here in this question, it is given three Boolean functions called A, B, C with respect to inputs X, Y, Z. KMAP simplification for A. Now, look at because it is a three variable map, because what are the variables X and Y, Z? This is 0, this is 1, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And 1 0. Now, what are the min terms given? 0, 2, 3, 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are the min terms. Okay. Now, combine them to get the Boolean function for A. A equal. These two we can combine to get which term? Yz. These two you can combine to get which term that is x dash and y is gone, z is z dash. So what is a y z plus x dash z dash. This is a function for a. Similarly, for b you draw the kmap simplification for b. Look at x and y z x is 0, 1 and this is y z. y z is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1 z. What is the min terms? 1, 3, 4, 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, this is 4, 5, 6. Now look at here we can group these two. What is the term we will get? x dash. 0, x dash and z. And these two we can group it. What is the term we are going to get? That is x and uh, z. That is x and z. So what is a b? b equal x dash z plus xz. Anything common we got? No. So try for c also. For c. Now again three variable function. So three variable map we have to draw. This is x and y z. This is 0, 1. This is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. Now what are the min terms 1 and 4? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the two terms. Now each term separately a 1 min term. Now, this is representing A, sorry, this is representing X dash, sorry, X, Y dash, Z dash. This is representing X dash, Y dash, Z. Now, what is a C? C is X dash, Y dash, Z plus X, Y dash, Z dash. This is a term we got it. Okay. Now here, when you observe all the three Boolean functions, no product term is common in all of this. Because no product term is common to all of this, what is recommended is group zeros also to get complemented function. Okay, first here I am writing zeros. If I group these two, which term I am getting? This is y dash z. If I group these two, which term I am going to get? X, Z dash. 
xz dash. So means what is a dash function? A dash function is xz dash plus y dash z whole complement because function is represented in the complemented form. Now a is xz dash plus y dash z complement. Now xz dash y dash z is common in anywhere? No. Now look for in the b also. 0, 0, 0, 0. These are common. Now if you combine these, if you combine this, what you are getting? x dash, z dash. That is not common. Here, what we are going to get here in this, this is x, z. It is also not common. So what is b now? x, z plus x dash, z dash whole common. Look for the third function also. Later we will decide whether the function is to be taken in the complemented form or uncomplemented form. Now 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Here I am taking. Now here this is one quad possible. If quad possible, what is the term possible? Y. And here we will get one group. This one. We will get one group. What is a group possible? This is x and z, xz. And this is another group possible with these two terms, with these two edges. What is a term? This is x dash and z dash. Right now. So what is c? xz plus x dash z dash plus y whole complement now we understood now we understood what to be considered so what we can consider look for the common things xz x dash z dash this is common in both of this b and c functions and here xz x dash z dash is already present in b function and C function in the complemented form. So that A I will take in the uncomplemented form and B and C will take for the complemented form. This is decided because the number of terms to be reduced. If I have to take as is as it is, so the number of terms are 6. Now because I am trying to find some relation between A, B, C functions, what I am getting, how many terms I am getting? 1, 2, this is common. And uh, see, yz one common, yz one term, x dash z dash, xz is one term, and this is y is one term. Right, something around four terms we are getting it. First, use these functions for writing the PLA program table. Write PLA program table. PLA program table. Draw the PLA program table. As you know that PLA program table having the three sections. The first section for listing the product term. And product term is going to be represented in the numerical form. Here first we write product terms for the reference. YZ is one product term. This is one. X dash Z dash is another product term two. For B function, xz, it is called product term 3. x dash z dash, already product term 2 we used. xz, product term 3 already used. x dash z dash, product term 2 we used. And y. See, how many product terms are there now? 4 product terms. Otherwise, how many are there? 6 product terms. Actually, we have to design PLA with minimum number of product terms. That will be considered as a good design. So always we have to design with a good diagram. Okay, means minimum number of AND gates are required. Actually, PLA is to reduce the minimum number of AND terms. Otherwise, we could have used PROM. In PROM, the number of min product terms are more. That is, we are reducing in the PLA. So that's why we have to look for the common terms. And what is the second section? The second section is for the input. To the AND gates. What are the inputs here? X, Y, 
z are the inputs that is the second section what is the third section the third section for the output output is functions how many outputs are there here we have three outputs a b and c three outputs now first product term y z so y is 1 z is 1 and x is not present it is you have to keep it as a dash and second product term x dash and z dash so that under x we have to put 0 under z we have to put 0 under y we have to put dash saying that there is no variable y next x z x is 1 z is 1 and y is absent and third product term is just y x is absent z is absent now the output functions what is a a is yz plus xz x dash z dash means product term 1 and product term 2 and the remaining product terms are not required for output b xz xz that is a product term 3 and one more is x dash z dash that is a product term 2 and 1 and 4 are not present. What C contains XZ that is a product term 3, X dash Z dash product term 2 and Y product term 3 and first product term is not there. How we have represented A in the true form, B in the complemented form, C also in the complemented form that we understood. Now use this PLA program table to draw the PLA logic diagram. Okay. So here I am drawing the logic diagram. We call it as a PLA logic diagram. Now how many inputs are there? X, Y, Z. So X is one input. So we have a buffer inverter buffer inverter similarly y for buffer inverter and z for buffer inverter z for buffer inverter okay now this is z this is z dash we call z z dash similarly we have y and y dash this is for x x dash right next we have to have and gates to have and gates and in the examination also please use different colors for legible diagram so that examiner by looking it directly he or she should give the marks this is a product term 1 2 3 4 these are the cross connections for generating the end matrix now what is a 1 y and z look y and z this is y and this is z connected what is a product term 2 x dash z dash x dash z dash product term 3 x z x and z product 4 is y just y just y this is giving the output of this and gates these are called outputs of and gates and these outputs of and gates are given as inputs to the r gate now here each R gate is for producing the sum. Each R gate is producing the sum of their products. Now what is a A? This is a A function. This is a B function. This is a C function. Now A is 1 and in the program table you look at A is 1 and 2. 1 and 2 are crossed. For B, 2 and 3 are connected. For C, 2, 3, 4 are connected. Now we got ABC. Right now. Now look, 
here we have to have the we have to have uh, the invert non invert form to have invert non invert form so each of this is going for the xr gate this is one xr gate for b we required to have one xr gate for a we required to have one xr gate this is a output b output c output now how a is represented a is in the true form true form means another input to xr is zero b and c are represented in the complemented form so another input for b and c are one so that we are getting the output a and b in the complemented form right now now this is a pla logic diagram for the given question and this is very very important damn sure you can expect a question in your university exams please follow this understand this uh, this is a way you can expect a question hope you have understood well and good thanks for watching thank you